Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with another video. This is a continuation from my previous video, the Belkin Powerline Internet uh, Adapter, uh, which they call the Video Link. Um, I opened it, I did an unboxing in my previous video, and here we're going to be running a speed test, so it's going to be quick and simple. So what I've done here, I completely bypassed the router. I have direct, directly connected my uh, desktop PC to my laptop. The laptop is upstairs on another floor. And um, you just need a little bit of networking knowledge, um, basic networking knowledge, you know, with setting up your IP addresses so they can see each other on, on their own network there and uh, set up the file sharing through Windows, uh, Windows uh, file sharing or media file sharing, whatever it's called now in Windows 7. So the software I'm using is LAN Speed Test. It was the first uh, first free software that came up when I did a search for LAN Speed Test. I don't know how accurate this is, but um, we are going to try it and give it a shot. So the box uh, says that it does uh, uh, speeds of up to 200 megabytes. Um, I'm really reluctant to believe that. I, I don't think I will see 200 megabytes. Um, I used to own a set of uh, telephone telephone uh, line internet adapters and while they claimed on the box it was 100 megs I was only getting I don't know 10 I think I really think 10 but I know I was getting one whole megabyte for sure so let's see what we do here so in order to use the software um, you open it up there's nothing to install it just run, there's the executable file that you just open up and run um, this is uh, filled out on its own folder in uh, server IP. After you've networked and set up uh, file sharing, uh, we're going to be going to uh, Laura's PC here, Laura PC. I'm just going to go to the public folder and I've got some sample music in the public music folder that I put. And I think uh, what it does, it just grabs a 20 megabyte chunk, uh, but that's up to you. You get to set up you know, the size of it. So we're going to do that. Uh, so it does two parts here, a writing uh, test and a reading test. Um, I'm going to assume the write test is the upload speed to write to the hard drive upstairs and the reading is the download speed. Yeah, I don't know what else to make of it. I'm, you know, I just uh, tried this, the first software that I found here. But uh, I think this is what we're concerned with, the megabytes per second here. Speed here at the bottom. Anyway, so uh, we're going to hit start and we're going to see what's going to happen. And here, um, file size, 100 megs. You know what? Let's make it 100. A whole 100. And see what happens. Well, this is going to take a little bit of time. Hopefully not too long. Uh-oh. I think we have our land speed test fail. I should have left it at 20. Come on. I think I've cra- oh! I was just about to say, I think I've crashed the software, but no, we're good. So the writing, uh, the, the numbers for the writing is uh, 24.32 blah 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 uh, megabytes per second. Wow. I was hoping to get at least 100, but um, 24 megs. And now we'll just wait for the reading numbers to come in. Now, I'm not that surprised that the numbers are so low. I mean, we're using a power line here. I mean, it's not designed for networking. But um, I have to say that it is a, a good way if you are located in a condo, you know, and there's concrete all around you, and the wire, you know, you can't you can't run any network cable, and wireless signals are are coming in very very weak. Um, this power line internet adapter is your next best option um, when you are faced with very limited networking resources. So, stop responding again, but hopefully we get these numbers coming in. And there we go, we got the reading numbers and we have 21.96. Megs. So the numbers are pretty low. Now, 
I don't know what to say about these numbers. Uh, if there's anyone out there with experience in the networking and uh, maybe, you know, they can shed some light on the numbers. I, you know, I totally understand that the power line is not, you know, it's not designed for network. But I don't know why they put 200 megs. Maybe that's streaming. Um, streaming only. I mean, um, yeah. But there we go. There's your results. Um, so yeah, feel free to comment, guys. I uh, always go through my comments, and I uh, and when I can, I do respond. Um, so please feel free to uh, leave a comment. Um, uh, and if you own a pair, if you own a pair of these Belkin ones, uh, let me know if how they are for video setup. I mean, um, there's also a gig gig speed that they claim a gig speed uh, pair that's out there. If anyone has those, um, I'd like to see the numbers for that. But but like I said, these these are good. Uh, these are your you know last resort when you can't run when you can't lay any cable or uh, your wireless signal is too low. Um, but there you go. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. This has been uh, part two of uh, the Belkin Powerline Internet Adapter Video Link Series. Please don't forget to subscribe to my videos, and um, we'll see you next time in the uh, following video to come. Ciao for now. Okay, guys, so here is the video, uh, the adapter, the link adapter in action, okay? Now, um, there it is plugged into the wall, as you can see, and there's the uh, Ethernet cable going to my computer. Now, the note here on the box says these things are firmware, um, you can uh, do firmware updates. So, um, Belkin constantly is improving their performance on uh, on their products uh, through firmware updates. So, you they are up, up uh, updatable, uh, and that's, uh, that's a good thing. That's pretty good. <laughs> just sounded like Martha Stewart. Um, the encryption button there, that's the top. That little dot there is the uh, infamous reset button. We've seen uh, the reset button on the PlayStation uh, controllers, which uh, which appeared on uh, one of my videos there to reconnect it to your console. But anyways, let's, uh, let's take a look what these LED means. Um, the one on the right uh, is the power LED. A solid green is power on. Uh, if it's off, it means it's powered off. Uh, blinking green uh, is uh, that you see that when you're uh, setting up encryption. A solid green means uh, encryption has been set up successfully. And double flash is fail in encryption. Okay, now the middle one is the power line link LED. Okay, um, when it's blinking, it means there's uh, information being transmitted or receiving. When it's green, it means you have an excellent uh, connection, which uh, speeds you can get speeds of up. Uh, sorry, greater than 80, 80 megs per second. When it's amber color, it means you have a, a low link uh, quality connection, which is less than 80 megs per second. And if it's off, it means there is no connect, uh, no activity, no connectivity. And look at that, it just went off for some reason. Oh, there it is, it's back up. I think the laptop may have gone to sleep upstairs, so that may be affecting that. And the one on the left is the ethernet link led that's this port here that um, pretty much if it's a solid green you have a 10 100 uh, connect connected uh, connection there and if it's off it means you have no ethernet link so if it's unplugged your computer goes to sleep or turned off it means you got no connection so um yeah that's it now to set up encryption uh you have to you do need both units you have to hold down that top button uh, on both units for 10 seconds and then um, uh, you have to hold down the button on one of the adapters for about two seconds after that and, that, and you've got a set up and you've got a, an, an encrypted network um, set up with the, these power line adapters all right so I mean the test the land speed test that we did is you know could be um, it could be uh, not not be it could not be very accurate, you know, if this thing is claiming, you know, speeds of 80 and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, that's it. That concludes this video, and we'll see you next time.